Mike Stevens here, Redneck Cruiser. I'm on a carnival dream. I am in cabin number 2342. Um, this is a cove balcony, and uh, so I'm going to give you a tour. Entrance from the door, if you take your left or my right, you got the bathroom right here. This is a nice little shower and everything. To you gentlemen out there, you'll know this because this is a place of solitude. Okay, this is the crapper. That's right. If you watch my other um, video where I demonstrated the power of the section, it's great. <laughs> Anyways, um, here's the bathroom. In this one, you only get one sink. You still get one plug in up here. There's all your toiletries and stuff. There's a trash can. Something I didn't film in my previous one. Oh well, I'll get it. And uh, plenty of stuff to put stuff on. Put you another mirror. All that kind of stuff. So pretty basic. Let's uh, walk in here and take a look at the at the closet space. So you get this. I recommend this if there's a maximum of two people. If you get a third person in here, you'll just start to run out of space. But I understand for budget reasons. So three people, probably max, but two people, this is pretty comfortable. Um, most of these beds do kind of fold out. So you could get up to four people up in here, but you'll start to really run out of storage and stuff like that. You get really compact in here. In this stateroom. Uh, the bed is very comfortable. You got a switch up there for the lights right up there. But uh, nice comfortable couch, nice comfortable bed on this side. This is where you have your desk where you could like do stuff, sit down and look at stuff. Got your hair dryer. I don't need a hair dryer. Maybe you guys do. But uh, yeah, plenty, pretty basic. I believe this one is the refrigerator. Yes, the refrigerator here, which can store some drinks there. <clears throat> you got your TV. This one has a, um, a room next door where you can walk in to it. So like if you have a family, if you want back-to-back -back rooms, it has an adjoining room. So, so yeah, you got that. Nice, uh, nice uh, mirror there. Check, check, check yourself out. And uh, this is what you came for, right? Let's go step outside. There's your door. You got your window. Two chairs. A little table for your coffee or drink or whatever. Another chair there. You got two chairs there. And then this is your view now obviously right now they're fueling up the ship so this is um a fuel tanker here so but normally you would have water right here you got water see and you look directly down you kind of have to reach out because if you look directly down without reaching out you see that so it's really hard to climb up on you have to actually try if you look up this is where you have your lifeboat set lifeboat set right up here. Just all the way down the ship. As you can tell there's no one and on top of you. It's you're by yourself. You're by yourself. This is how you separation right here. This is a pretty nice um pretty nice setup. Pretty private. There's no one looking at you. But like I said, it's despite the fuel tanker here there's no one looking at you, so a lot of privacy. I've never stayed on a cove balcony or anything like that. Uh, my sister-in-law is staying on this one, so, but I'll tell you what, I may look into doing it because this, like I said, it's a lot of privacy here. So I can only imagine how cool it is, you know, at night especially. It'd be pretty neat. I'm gonna have to come out here and come down here and check it out. But uh, gorgeous view, gorgeous view of the Mississippi.
all that kind of stuff. Anyways, guys, uh, stay tuned for more cruise videos on this channel. Talk to you guys later, 7-3.